What's going on folks? So we're in Ice Cream Canyon and I'm trying to get to the canyon here. Long time no see. Hope everybody's doing good. So the lake has been down and uh, it's only risen five feet since it started rising. So it's interesting. I have a lot of people on the last video uh, telling me that a lot of the lakes in California have been rising. But here at Lake Powell, obviously with the Colorado River, we've been slacking a little bit with the snowpack. So I'm kind of trying to document some stuff here. Now, what, what is today? Today's the 29th. Ah, and I have a lot of people on the lake here, which I'll show you. It's been pretty busy. It's nothing crazy, but it's definitely busy. You know, even with the lake levels the way they are, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's pre-4th of July weekend. 4th of July weekend's coming up, so I'd imagine it's going to get pretty busy. But uh, we're in Ice Cream Canyon. Let me show you here. Very low. It's my first time ever coming in here when it's this low. So let me get a little bit of shots here. You know, I'll show you the lake. So to give you an idea of what's going on, Lake Powell has risen five feet for the 2025 water season. Not much at all. So with lake levels being what they are, it's barely risen at all, a few feet. Now, kind of a bad water year. Usually we get 20 plus feet, but uh, as of uh, the water year of 2025, Lake Powell's only risen five feet, just five feet. It's just sad, you know, um, usually you never know with the Colorado River Basin, the way the Colorado River works, it can rise, like we said in 2023, it was 60 feet, 60 feet of rise. And now it's only five feet. But five feet of rise, it's horrible. Gosh. But uh, let me remind you, the Colorado Bas River Basin is always a unique uh, water basin. It's, it, it, it could fluctuate immensely or it could fluctuate very little. But obviously with the way the uh, things have been, it's barely fluctuated at all in the past couple years. You know, it, it went up 10, 15 feet. Oop, I'm in some quicksand. <laughs> I'm in some quicksand here, hold on. Oh my gosh, I don't know. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna have to back up a little bit. My flip flops are getting stuck in here. Oh my God. <sighs> hold on. Obviously with this stuff being a couple of uh, years underwater, we're gonna have some problems. Jeez. Uh, oh my God, come on, don't take my flip-flop from me. <laughs> ah. Sweet Lord, look at that thing. Uh, ah. See if we can wash that off, jeez. What was I saying? Look at that. So the Colorado River Basin, if any of you know and have studied the basin, you know that it's always fluctuating. For the past couple of years, you can see the lake levels have dropped and uh, it's dropped significantly. Today, we're out on the boat, taking my family out. I apologize for anybody who's been waiting for any videos to update on here with me. But uh, I've been taking care of business, taking care of the family. But uh, with the basin, it's been, a, it's been an interesting water year. It's been tough. Um, five feet of rise, not, not good at all. The matter of the fact being that we still have a couple of million acre feet to send to Lake Mead, to send to Lake Mead, excuse me. And uh, things are what they are, you know? And uh, the lake is a different environment these days. So I, I'm hoping that one day we can actually get back to the levels that I grew up seeing, which, uh, which is not full pool, 
you know, some of you older folks out there, you, you know, you've seen the lake full pool, but um, I'm out here in Ice Cream Canyon and this is uh, something I've never seen before. Obviously it is a canyon. <laughs> I'm not gonna go forward more. I got kind of stuck in the quicksand. I don't know if I can even go forward to show you what the namesake of the canyon is, the actual ice cream scoop, which is up further up the canyon. But uh, that's what I got going on. There's a lot of boats out here though. You know, uh, everybody's been enjoying the lake and what it is. Um, even this year, like I said, this is uh, June 28th, a little bit before the 4th of July weekend. More people are gonna come out, hopefully here soon. But besides the matter of the fact, uh, it's not too busy, but it is busy. Um, I know it's kind of an oxymoron, but uh, the lake is, it's Lake Pow. And uh, this is what we're working with right now. So it's a whole new dy dynamic. And I, and I kind of try to uh, be uh, optimistic. I know a lot of people say, you know, the way the water is, is it, is it going to come up? I don't know. Nobody knows. The way the dam is operating, the Glen Canyon Dam, you know, um, they're releasing what water they need to. But when it comes to the fact of 7.5 million acre feet of water sent to Lake Mead, it's the upper basin. They have to send that water. And, you know, um, the Bureau has to send it. So it's, it's kind of an interesting aspect. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, quicksand. The lava started sinking pretty bad over there. But, um, yeah. It's just, uh, sad to me, you know, uh, unfortunately the way the world is working, but I, I try to be optimistic. A lot of people say, you know, the lake is never going to be what it is or what it was, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, it, in 17 years when Glen Canyon Dam was created and the lake started rising, it took 17 years to fill Lake Powell. 17 years. And the people literally who worked on the dam never thought they would see it full. But 2026 is happening here soon. Obviously in uh, the next year, um, everything is gonna probably change. There's gonna be new, some new uh, regulations when it comes to Glen Canyon Dam and Hoover Dam. And uh, we can only speculate what's gonna happen when it comes to the reservoirs between Powell and Mead. Hopefully there's some equal balance between the two because if you know anything about the reservoirs, Mead, as soon as Mead gets to a certain water level, then that's when um, drought regulation starts. Tier one, tier two B, tier two, all these things. And uh, I think when it comes down to both reservoirs, they need to be managed properly. They need to be managed when it comes down to what level both reservoirs are at. Because Lake Powell is a reservoir. Uh, unfortunately, it's it's low levels for what it is, but things uh, things are interesting these days.